The next participant, Shayna Blood, EDSC PhD, journalism as a political tool, exposing, explaining, and changing the world. And I, I want to start actually with the story. And that's a story of in uh, 2004, I was recruited to design and teach courses on human rights at Columbia College Chicago. And Columbia College Chicago is a, is a school that uh, trains artists and journalists and what I like to call future producers of culture. And I was designed to be able to create these, these courses on human rights, and we were really excited, and we needed a minimum of 10 people. If we could get 10 people, we could get the course off the ground. We had 19. It was awesome. We taught it. It went really, really, really well. And after one year, I had maxed out. I had taught the three sessions that I could teach. And I needed to go and recruit other uh, faculty to be able to teach these courses on human rights to these journalists and artists and future producers of culture. And not a single person would do it. Can we have the slide, please? Not a single person would be able to do it. Why? Because they had to be objective. Objectivity is the god that won't die, according to uh, Hackett and Zhao. So my question was, if you can have business style reporting and you can have style reporting, why can't you have human rights reporting? Why is this suddenly not objective? So I decided that the way that I could do this is I could learn from people who are already doing it. And I uh, decided to learn from people who are what I call trans or who describe themselves as transnational people, people who are one nation across two or more states. Why did I choose to interview people who were transnational and involved in journalism education? Because inherently, they were already speaking to multiple audiences at the same time. They were choosing to use, these were journalists uh, and journalism training programs, they were choosing to use journalism as a form of social and political change, but they were doing so with a very strong distinction between journalism and propaganda. They wanted to be journalists. They wanted to train their own to be journalists. How did they do this? So I looked at the Sami and the Roma, both of whom are transnational people, both of whom are very, very, very different in their contexts, and looked at their journalism training programs. I interviewed over 40 people. I did extensive field work multiple times. I just came back on Tuesday. And what I learned was, number one, journalism is seen as a social political change. Number two, there is a distinction between propaganda and journalism. And number three, it's because of the way of understanding objectivity. Objectivity is understood as a positivist notion in terms of the skills and in terms of the practice of journalism, but it comes from a position of strong objectivity in terms of the perspective and starting point, and it's done in a presentation of contextual objectivity in terms of how it is presented and how it is understood. So I am aiming to learn from these transnational journalists and these transnational journalist training programs and applying that to the nascent and necessary idea of human rights reporting. Thank you.